Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, so next week, apparently Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, Orban is going to visit Mar-a-Lago and visit Trump. Oh, that's cool, you know, because that's awesome. Um, I'm kind of curious what would inspire Viktor Orban to come visit Donald Trump in the first place. He's not the president after all. Biden's the president. But, you know, Trump seems to have a soft spot for dictators. So let's dive right in. After my long intro for, for the, um, the Trump uh, media group and the SPAC, let's get in for a quick reading here. <laughs> Entertainment purposes only. What's the energy around Victor Urbane's visit to Mar-a-Lago and Donald Trump? High Priestess. Secrets. It's more than just a love affair. Okay, they're going to be talking shop, talking about things that are mutually supportive of each other, I suppose, and endings of things. Now, I doubt that Orbane is giving a... Uh, huh. Messages from Putin. That's sorry, I finished the thought. I was starting to wonder about NATO and... Um, and no, Orbane has to explain to Trump why he allowed uh, Sweden to get into NATO or something along those lines. High Priestess in the Death card. This is about you know, asking questions, getting answers, and things coming to an end. And underneath it all is agreements. Mm. I'm wondering if this is kind of like... Um, Orbane is negotiating with who he thinks will be the next president of the United States. And they're discussing things that they're going to do. It's like he's getting a jump, a uh, like a, a 10 month or, or, or a one year jump head start on other people about things that they want to do together. Things that they want to do together that they share their values and bring things to an end. Like, you know, getting rid of LGBTQ rights, for instance, you know, getting rid of those woke people. Uh, so, yeah, like-minded people meeting, plotting the demise of others. <clears throat> Gee, many Christmas. In the past, we have the tower. Something happened with them that ended quickly. Maybe the, and maybe that's what we I would be surprised if the moon card comes up. There's something that they were working on together or some shared goal that probably came to an end when Trump was removed from the White House. And they're looking at rekindling what was lost or you know, bringing something back from the dead here. More major arcana. Good Lord. There's four for four with major arcana. Temperance. It's a slow plan. It's like the slow rollout. Um, I don't know if this would be like Project 2025 or something like that, but it's it's kind of like the, the, the closening of relationships between Hungary and the United States. And he's telling Trump things that Trump can do when Trump's in power to help forward the agenda, uh, their, their mutually agreeable uh, uh, ideals or something along those lines. There, there, it's an agreement. It's going to take time. Maybe there's some, again, there could be apologies that, you know, you've got NATO has got two more countries in there and, um, and uh, Hungary had to approve both of those countries. And so there might be some discussions as to what happened and why that's okay. The Ace of Swords. I, yeah, I, if it's an agreement like that, then he's going to come in and explain why he had to do what he had to do for the, the long-term benefit of his country. Basically, Hungary is playing both sides of the fence, near as I can tell. Um, but I think, again, with, with whatever plan they have, they both have the same idea. Maybe how they go about it's a little bit different, but they both have the same idea. Another major arcana to go with the ace. The hermit card. Um, it's an idea that had retracted for a while, but they're bringing it back to life. It's got new light, new life to it. 
again, it's kind of like a path forward. Here's all the, you know, if you get back in here, here's all the things you can do. Let me show you the way. I've had to wait a little bit on this one because of your accidental loss back in 2020. But now it looks like everything's going to be hunky dory. We can carry on doing what we were doing. And I'll, and I'll show you the way on how to do that. And a freaking <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six out of seven major arcana. <laughs> and Ace of Swords is a pretty strong card too. Outcome is the magician. They're gonna have. They're gonna come to an agreement. They're they're creating like they're. It's like the the new evil world order. The three D world order where, yeah. They're they're anti liberal, anti woke, conservative agendas. They they use all those terms. They're authoritarians. Let's call it what it is. They're authoritarians. And you know he's it's almost like he's giving him ideas on how to be a, a good authoritarian, and he's going to help, kind of like what Mussolini was to Hitler. For those who aren't really familiar. And I'm only and I only learned this because I have an interest in World War II and I read a lot of books on the subject matter. Uh, for those who do like those reading reading of it, the uh, the uh, uh, Liberation trilogy. Good Lord, now if I can pull the name out of the, uh, the author for that, I'm forgetting the author's name. As uh, were great, but basically um, Mussolini was the first fascist. And Hitler admired Mussolini and learned <laughs> at the heels of Mussolini and then promptly blew past him as a, a fascist leader no, in no small part because uh, Nazi Germany was a much bigger um, uh, military powerhouse than the Italians were. So, you know, that diminished Mussolini in Hitler's eyes. Rick Atkinson is the author of the Liberation Trilogy. I also read some of the Stephen Ambrose books, too, to go with the, the Band of Brothers. Um, so it looks like they've got a shared agenda. Could you, uh, Spirit, could you share a little bit of what this secret agenda is that we're not supposed to know about, but maybe you can give us a little bit of a hint? <sighs> Victory. Oh. How to do election interference. The... Uh, <laughs> the authoritarian way. I it, Basically, I think it's going to be what happens when Trump wins. You know, how are you going to deal with the court cases that you've got going on? How are you going to delay them and get rid of them? <sighs> Changing the world and never compromising. You no, know, basically president for life, get, disbanding the Supreme Court, president for life, never leaving type of thing. Oh, and could you could you spend a brother? Could you give a brother a little bit of a handout here? Okay, um, he's it could be valuable advice he's giving him if, on how to win, if not what to do after he wins. It could also be that hey, you know, it, it, ooh, I wonder if he's gonna uh, come up with some money to help Trump with his legal cases. That yeah, <laughs> please come with a. A uh, Samsonite bag full of cash and gold bars. Um, I think it's it. The vibe is like it might be more than guidance that he's a value that he's giving him. He might be giving him access to some money, like you know the the government of Hungary will loan Donald Trump the. $500 million he needs to fight his court cases. You know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, and we'll see what Trump can do for the government of Hungary. Now, I don't know if that's legal, and I just could be totally, well, I am totally making that up, but, you know, there's going to be something underhanded, you know, maybe Orban scratches Trump's back a little bit now, and Trump will return the favor later, whether it's like, you know, sales of military equipment or something along those lines. Maybe that's what Arban was the original talking as to why uh, he allowed uh, Sweden into NATO is that they wanted F-16s and they're going to get a bunch 
and Trump can just you know, pound sand or Bain has to uh, be worried about his country's defenses. But there's there's more going on and it's not on the up and up. I'll leave this as a short reading. I really don't want to read much more into these guys. Um, so anyways, thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and uh, everything you do to help feed the YouTube algorithm so that my video makes it out to a wider audience. To folks just discovering this channel for the first time or recently, welcome to the channel. Glad you found us. I hope you found this reading insightful, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.